Folks, what is going on? I'm back today with another video. I got a doggone 40 foot gooseneck trailer sitting here and it needs some work. Coming to my own, you're watching the Uncle Mike YouTube channel. Stick around. So the way my camera is set up on my truck, it's not supposed to come on unless you're in reverse. So this trailer, that's on my truck right now, seven ways so jacked up that it's kicking this doggone camera on. Need some wiring work. Let's see. That's not annoying. exhaust shield rattling over there but a 40 footer needs some work jack leg tore up on it lighting issues she's gonna get a new seven or not seven way but a new uh dog on breakaway system got the jack leg right there there's probably a root of some issues in this, this box here we'll get into it we'll see so i got this whole girl back to the house and the first order of importance is going to be snatching this jack off because well it's broke so yeah we're gonna get rid of that and put a new one on there so the gopro's charging up but the old die grinder well it's an angle grinder i guess ain't die grinder electric angle grinder whatever the heck you want to call the doggone thing it's eating, son, let me tell you. As soon as that thing finally cut through, you could see where it cut right there on the top. Once it cut through, it pulled that metal. This thing's bound up. Probably uh, has to do with this thing being so doggone low that it uh, hit the ground maybe once or twice. So but we'll get her out of here. There's the new jack, got the old jack off. So let's go ahead and get this old girl stuck up in here and see how she's gonna mount. Now I've got this jack on here, grounded it down, grinded, I guess, ground it down. There you go, that's the word. So I got my dimensions over there on that notepad, everything looking kosher. So I'm gonna roll the old welder out, um, give it hell. New jack leg, everything lines up, it's all kosher. So, here we go. So I will not, let me shut this off. I will not be welding that section. Absolutely pointless. That weld, that weld, and this entire front side. I really didn't even need to weld that whole front side, but I just said, you know what? I'm already here, and I was just laying down some dimes, so that'll be fine. All right, so now that that is on, I'll go ahead and hook up this handle here. I hope it comes with some hardware. Uh, it didn't come with... I don't think it did, because I just went and found a bolt. I'm like, I got a pile of bolts and stuff. I can't get this dog on thing out of it. Hang on, folks. Goodness gracious. There we go. Little catch here. Got no hardware. That's kind of... That's kind of a... Not a good deal. Pay for all this money, and then you don't even get no hardware. But... We'll see where this thing's all gonna mount up. Got some bolts over here. I just pulled one out somewhere. There it is. 
This is not what I'm going to use, but it'll work fine for mocking this thing up. So, get in here. Almost need another hand. About probably right there is where it's gonna go. Sorry for the glare, sorry, sorry. So we'll get this thing welded on. That way it's got a nice little catch. All right, so we've got a design flaw. I didn't check this, but that's not good. So let's take this back apart. Let me look real quick and just assess on what other stuff they supplied me with. Does this handle any longer? Nope, but it's got an extension. There we go. So let's take this on there. All right. I know why this thing wore out. You have so much doggone leverage on that. That's why it's tearing up these jacks. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Anyways, we'll bolt this together and leave it. I ain't going to fix it. If you could take and put your... How far has this got to go on there? What you could do, get your bolt lined up. You could take a uh, piece of steel here, come off of that with like a pillow block, just so that your force, all your, your uh, cranking force is on that pillow block right there, or carrier bearing, whatever y'all call them, wherever you're at. So. You weld you a piece of pipe in here to bolt to that carrier bearing. That way, all of your load doesn't ride on that jack. It rides on that pillow block. But there's a million ways to kill a cat. You know what they say. Bingo. I like that. All right, so I'm gonna, I really wouldn't care, but being that this is my buddy's trailer, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap the new handle onto this thing. So take this extension out. Well, we'll have to reuse this old hardware, unless I picked up new stuff, but I'm not going to, so. Might have to because I can't get the bolt out. So let's see what we can do here. Mm. Get off. Give me my socket back, old son. I don't have a hammer, hammer right here, but I got this, uh, what they call an adjustable hammer. Dang, boy, that thing seized on there. A couple little love taps, get her out. That bolt's jump. Let me see what kind of hardware I've got. Might be able to get this thing out. Reuse this. So I'll show you right now because I'm sure this comet's gonna come in the daytime when uh, you can actually see everything. But if you look at your gap, that handle, pull handle was very high compared to this side. 
The reason being is that this jack is centered on that hole and that jack is centered on this hole. This jack thing is gonna hang a little lower. So that is what it is. That's something you have to take into consideration and something that you gotta understand when you're doing a job like this that you aren't gonna have identical stuff unless you bought two new jacks or just had two old jacks that were laying around that matched what you already had. So, like I said, with that being said, you have to clock your jacks so that that jack doesn't uh, max out or under retract and this jack's hanging down low. So, I will take that center tube loose. Well, it's actually not even bolted right now. Just the this whole outside's all bolted. Now I'm gonna get a new outer bolt. But, see, so yeah, I'll take it all loose. I'll pull a measurement from the frame. Uh, I was gonna measure it from the ground, but my driveway is sloped, so we used a trailer for a reference point, which may or may not be a perfect reference point, but we'll use it. Well, Martha? Martha! Why are you running off? She was over here inspecting the jack work. She wanted to see it in the daytime. She only saw it at night, so she said it looks good. Everything's working. She'll go up or down as needed. I'm going up. Come down. You probably couldn't see nothing very shaky there. But Martha, let's go eat. Come on. Come on. I said, let's go. Boy, these chickens be getting after it. That's like 20 eggs right here, and that's like a week's worth of eggs. I stop picking them up every day because they leave more when there's more eggs on the ground. It's a risk because they might start cracking eggs and eating them, and then your egg process is just done. Look at these things out here. This is actually probably what dinosaurs look like. 